In this video we are solving a challenge from Lit called called Happy Number and I think this is an interesting one because it introduced a concept of uh, endless loops uh, so it's really interesting I think we can learn a lot from it so let me switch the camera to for you to see the challenge and we will read it now uh, so like we said it's called Happy Number and they say write an algorithm to determine if a number n is happy a happy number is a number defined by the following processes. Starting with any positive integer, so positive, replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digits. So basically we have to get the square of its digits and sum them up and replace the number with the sum of the squares of the digits, right? Now we're saying keep repeating this process until the number equals to 1, where it will stay, because once it reaches 1, then it will go in an infinite loop, right? Because uh, the square of 1 is 1, the square of 1 is 1, so it cannot go any further from there. Or it will loop endlessly in a cycle which, which does not include 1. So basically it will be a cycle where it will reach a number, it will then um, go through all the numbers and at, uh, at some point it will basically reach the same number. And after it reaches the number, then it will keep looping in the same sequence because the same number can only start one sequence it can start another sequence because it's the same process right so it says those numbers for which this proceed ends in one are happy so once it reaches one and it loops endlessly in one uh, then then uh, it means the numbers are happy right um, so it says return true if n is a happy number and false if not so let me copy this uh, starting function in Visual Studio Code and let me explain my thinking on this. So first of all, let's think how we will solve this one. Well, first of all, there will be some happy numbers. Uh, there will be some happy numbers which uh, basically uh, at some point it will just reach one. But then we have those cases where, let's think, if it never reaches one, it will just go to different numbers, different numbers, different numbers that never reach one. So if we think that it never reaches one, it means that if it go infinitely, uh, let's let's just think they're all different numbers, right? So then it will go infinitely, infinitely, and at some point, all the numbers will be finished, and it should be one if all the numbers are different. But uh, but if it never reaches so. So basically, if all the numbers are different, then all the numbers will be finished, even if numbers are infinite, right? So at some point, we need to use one as well. If if we never use one, if it never reaches one, then that means at some uh, at some point in time, uh, we have repeated the number. So like they say, the cycle once it reaches a number that it has reached before, then the number will uh, the numbers will cycle because you have this number which started starts a sequence and one that, one, once that number is reached again then basically that sequence will start again because it started the same number starts the same sequence it, in case it can start a different sequence so let's see how we put this in code in javascript right switching back the screen let me go in visual studio code and what i want to do first just uh, just so uh, i use it instead of doing in the same function i want to do a function that um, given a number returns the sum of the squares of its digits. So I'm going to say const sum of squares, right? Why is this not working? Squares, sorry about that. Squares, what is going on here? Sum of squares, right? equals right and uh, we make this function and how we do this first i will say uh, sum let sum that starts with zero and then i will say while n because i will uh, keep uh, removing numbers from n so while n is different than zero while and we can say while n different than zero but we can also say while n because while n means while n is not a false value so it, w once this is zero this is not this is not going to be true so it will um, uh, exit the loop so we can say while n 
what do we want to do we want to say sum is equal we want to add to the sum the square of the last digit of the number so we say uh, sum equals sum plus and what we want to say is basically n modulo 10 because n modulo 10 will give you the last digit of a number right uh, of the number n and we want to say this at the power of 2 and we can say at the power of 2 by using this operator from ES6 I think uh, I will put this in parentheses because I'm not sure about the precedent here right so we want to say sum equals sum plus the power of 2 of the last digit of n right and we can also write this by removing the sum from here and we just say sum uh, plus equals this n modulo 10 uh, at the power of 2 right and then after we have added this to the sum we, we, we just want to remove it from n right so we will keep uh, removing those numbers and adding them as a power to the sum uh, so we keep adding the last uh, digit uh, at the power of 2 to the sum and then we remove it right so we want to say n equals parse int of n divided by 10 and we're saying n divided by 10 and then, uh, this will give you uh, a number and then it will give you something uh, it will basically give you something after the comma but we don't want that so we will use parse int the method parse int uh, on n divided by 10 right so uh, and at the end we just want to return the sum right so now that we have this let's go inside here and let's see uh, what we can do we can say uh, I want to basically keep track of uh, all the all the um, uh, all the numbers uh, through which we cycle so all the all, all the different uh, variations of n while me while we keep modifying it right so <clears throat> what I'm going to say I'm going to say a uh, const hash I don't even know if this is the correct <laughs> word for this but I will say const hash map and I, I will start it as an uh, as an empty object and what I want to say is I want to say while and I know that I'm gonna keep modifying n right so I will uh, and, and what I have to check for and and stop when this occurs is I have to check if n uh, uh, remains 1 or we already had the same value of n at some point and then we stop this loop so I want to say while n is different than 1 so it hasn't reached 1 and also uh, the we, I use the neg, uh, neg, um, neg, negative uh, the, the not operator in JavaScript and I use hash map hash map of n so I'm saying while n is different than 1 and also the property n doesn't exist in hash map what I want to do is I want to basically put n in the hash map right so I will say hash map of n and I will just say equals true and then what I want to do is um, so so basically I put it in here if it doesn't exist right and then I will um, what do I have to do after this um, all oh, right so 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 then to <laughs> yeah uh, th then I want to change n I want to give to n um, sum of square so so I'm changing it at this point I'm transforming n in the sum of the square of each digit right so I'm saying n equals sum of square n right so here at the end uh, so I'm doing this while n is different than one and also the property n doesn't exist here what once n is either one or n exists in hash map then i'm out of this loop and what i want to say is uh, at this point n has a value it's either one or another number that has repeated at some point so what i want to say is because i have to return true if it if it's happy which means n equals one at this point or false uh, if it's not happy so it's another number so i want to say return n 
equals to one and this will evaluate to either true or false and that's it this should work right so <clears throat> let me check this out run code and it's working for this test tests and let me submit And that's it, right? Obviously, I will get different numbers depending when I submit it. So as you can see, it gives me different numbers. But I think this is a pretty good solution for this problem. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you enjoy this, uh, if you enjoy this video, click the like button. It will help me with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more content like this, click the subscribe button and uh, maybe click the notification bell if you want to. Uh, if you want you to, to let you know about any other content from me also you have some videos on the side if you want to watch more from me now all right bye bye for now see you next time